This tutorial will walk through the process for drawing this curb detail. This is a City of Minneapolis detail for a B612 type curb, so a bumper, bumper style curb that has a 6 inch curb face and a 12 inch gutter. And you can see here uh, we've got some line work to do and some annotation. And I've created a slideshow that will step through basically every process that I went through to recreate this. So I will start my drawing from, from this point right here where my cursor is, where the 6 inch dimension starts. That's where I will start my drawing. And so right here I have started a P line and I turned ortho on using F8 and I drew a 6 inch P line and then drew another 6 inch P line for this dimension. And I'm doing all of the straight lines first because that'll make it easier uh, to make sure that I have all of my dimensioning correct. So 6 inches by 6 inches, which gives us this green line. And then I'm drawing another P line 6 inches down and 2 inches to the right because that is the same as this 1 to 3 slope here. Um, and 1 to 3 would be the same as 2 to 6. So here's 2 to 6. So I'm going to draw a P line down 6 inches and over 2 inches, which will give me something like, like this. And then connecting the two points of my triangle to make this green line. So that gives us this slope right here. If I continue on, I will draw a 12 inch line horizontally and a vertical line that is three quarters of an inch because it tells me that the slope of this gutter is three quarters of an inch per foot or three quarters of an inch per 12 inches. So here's my 12 inches and here's three quarters of an inch. And if I, I connect those endpoints, it gives me a line like that, and that has the correct slope. Moving on, here is here's that line that I've drawn, and you can you can draw in these these dashed lines and then delete them to arrive at this shape. <clears throat> I'll then make a vertical line that's seven inches. Again, following this this plan here, we've got a seven inch front of the curb assembly. And so here's my 7 inch vertical line. And then I will again draw a 12 inch line because it gives me a dimension here 12 inches horizontally. And you can see this is a sloped line that basically follows this slope. So 3 quarters of an inch vertically for every foot or 12 inches horizontally. So I'm going to draw 12 inches horizontally. And then three quarters of an inch vertically, again connecting the endpoints of those two lines to give me a line with the correct slope. And then I can delete these dashed lines out. And I'm going to do the same thing again, 12 inches horizontally, three quarters of an inch vertically, just to extend this sloping line out. Which gives us something like this. Now I'm just going to extend this vertical line down to the point where it it actually extends beyond this, uh, this sloping bottom of the assembly. So extending the back of the curb past the bottom of the curb assembly will give us all of these green lines and then I can simply trim back the excess until we have the general shape of our curb without any of the dimensioning or fillets on these radii. And before I add the fillets, I'm going to add dimensions because once we put curves on here, it's going to be tough to find the right spot to add our dimensions. So I'm going to add dimensions now, and you can see I've put in all the dimensions. And once I have the dimensions in, then I can fill it the appropriate radii onto these curves. So here you can see I've I've used the fillet tool to add these curves to my shape. So I have a nice smooth curb now. And now I'm basically ready to add some radii dimensions. And there's going to be four dimensions that we have to put in. 
and I'm just using the radius dimension tool to do that. You could use a multi-liter uh, multi if you chose, but I just use the basic radius dimensioning tool. And after a little bit of cleanup of my dimensions, we're starting to get a pretty good finished product here. And then all we need to do is add in a little bit of the notation. So here, slope 3 quarters of an inch per foot. And to make this arrow, I used the Q leader command. I just typed Q leader and drew this arrow in. Uh, I actually snapped two points on this line so that I could get the, the correct slope for that arrow and then moved my arrow up. Same with the text. This is just a basic M text that I rotated a couple of degrees to match the slope of this arrow. And then another M text down here showing slope not to exceed 1 to 20 at curve ramps. Uh, I also drew in a very basic 3 to 1 triangle. Uh, with my P line command, I drew a one unit horizontal line, three unit vertical line connected the two endpoints to come up with this triangle, and then some M text for the three and the one, which pretty much gives us a finished detail. So thank you very much for watching.